In this video, I'm going to talk about Rh negative blood and psychic abilities. After my son was born, I was told in the hospital that I needed a special injection called Rogam and that I needed to carry a card in my wallet forever that declared I am Rh negative. I didn't ask any questions back then, but I should have. Because what I didn't realize is that I have the type of blood that U.S. intelligence agencies are very interested in. As a matter of fact, they track people with Rh negative blood, and there is a highly sophisticated global tracking system of all Rh negative human beings throughout the world. Blood is classified by type. There are four major blood types determined by the presence or absence of A and B antigens, type A, type B, type AB, and type O. Type O is the oldest blood type, and type AB is the rarest blood type. In addition to types, blood is also classified based on the presence or absence of the Rh antigen. This is called the Rh factor. If you have the antigen, you are Rh positive, and if you do not, you are Rh negative. 85% of the population is Rh positive, and 15% are Rh negative. If your blood cells have a protein that can be linked to the rhesus monkey, you are Rh positive. All other earthly primates have this Rh factor. Type O negative is considered to be the universal donor type because it can be given to any blood type. It cannot, however, receive any other blood type but O negative. Because I'm O negative, getting a blood transfusion from anyone but another O negative would literally kill me. The interesting thing to consider is, however, where do the Rh negative people come from? If all people came from the same ancestor, all people's blood should be the same. Since that is not the case, there must have been some kind of intervention that resulted in the rise of Rh negative blood groups. The most prevalent theory that I've read about is that Rh negative people have extraterrestrial origins, that beings came here from elsewhere thousands and thousands of years ago and mixed with the human population that was already here. So what was up with the Rogam shot? According to one hospital's protocol, nurses are instructed to provide Rogam for those mothers with Rh negative blood to prevent formation of antibodies to positive Rh positive blood to protect future pregnancies. What does this mean? Why wasn't I told any of this when I was pregnant? For a pregnant woman who is Rh negative, it can be very dangerous to be impregnated by a man who is Rh positive. Why? Because the fetus will be Rh positive. The blood of an Rh negative pregnant woman can be dangerous to an Rh positive baby that is developing inside the womb. The reason is because the two blood factors, positive and negative, are incompatible. This can provoke the mother's own blood to produce potentially lethal antibodies because her immune system views the fetus as a hostile invader and something to be expelled. This is probably the reason why many women who have perpetual one after the other miscarriages, this could be very well be part of that problem. The process by which this happens is called sensitization and it occurs when the mother's blood crosses into the placenta and then into the fetus. Thus begins a war between the mother and the fetus. If these lethal antibodies come in contact with the fetus's blood, the result is a condition called hemolytic anemia, whereby the mother's antibodies attack the red blood cells of the baby and break them down. This can result in permanent damage done to the organs of the fetus and even death due to lack of sufficient oxygen to the brain. There will be no risk, however, to the fetus of a mother and a father who are both Rh negative, only if the mother's Rh negative and the father's Rh positive. My son was born with no issues, but as I look back on it, it just blows me away that no one thought fit to explain any of this to me. I found out much later that the reason I was given the card to carry around forever is because the more times an Rh negative mother becomes pregnant, the more powerful and prevalent the deadly antibodies she creates become. This means the mother's body is actively trying to kill any future Rh positive fetus in as effective manner as possible. 
How in the world do we explain this phenomenon? Nowhere else in nature does such a thing exist. For myself, I have come to accept the extraterrestrial explanation for all of this. I just don't see what else it could be. The idea that it is some mutation has been thoroughly discredited. I used to have a lot of fun at my job as a high school teacher asking the science teachers, where did the Rh negative blood type come from? Because of course, they had no explanation. People who lack the Rh antigen or protein share some rather interesting characteristics. Some of these characteristics make Rh negative people very different from the overall population. These include high, high IQ, sharp senses, better immune system, psychic and empathic abilities, a sense of having a special mission in life, an interest in cosmology and life's mysteries, vivid or lucid dreams, and profound spiritual experiences. They are also prone to have paranormal experiences. Many are UFO contactees, and RH negative people cannot be cloned. Other characteristics are sensitive vision and other senses, large eyes, lower body temperature, lower blood pressure. I think the last time I had my blood pressure taken, it was 108 over 62, and there have been times when it's been a lot lower than that. Predominantly blue, green, or hazel eyes, sensitivity to heat and sunlight, and the uncanny ability to disrupt electrical devices. This happens to me frequently. Lights flicker, computers get glitches, and I've heard of other people who have Rh negative blood also having the same issue. Many Rh negative people feel separate from others and different. However, they have a very high emotional IQ, which means when they encounter other people, they can sense and experience the emotions of those people. They are very highly intuitive. In addition, they're very sensitive to the energy fields of other people and can be overwhelmed quite quickly quickly if they are, say, in a room with too many people who have too many conflicting energy fields. One drawback of this blood type is that Rh negative people tend to be frightened very easily and usually have at least one major phobia. Mine is fear of deep water. Another Rh negative personality trait is the preference for isolation. These people will often form a deep bond with a spouse or a partner, but lighter bonds with others. They are very comfortable being alone, and they tend to avoid social events or going to new places. People who are Rh negative, especially the O negative types, have an inordinately high percentage of clairvoyance and telepathics, visionaries and prophets among them. They tend to be healers and truth seekers. This fact of life has been determined with absolute certainty by various alphabet soup agencies throughout the U.S. intelligence community, as numerous whistleblowers and deep insiders have attested to over several decades. The other question that needs to be answered, however, is... Why are government intelligence agencies so interested in people with the Rh negative blood type and their abilities? I will make a separate video on why I think this might possibly be so. That's all for now.